Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting webisode here with Kevin from Wibbit.net. In the last time that we left off, this is a continuation of the X509 digital signature, where we created a digital signature. So if you did not watch that one, I please would ask you to go do it. And just to recap what we did is we just pulled down an XML document from the test web service that we have propped up for the C-sharp course. And we pulled in a certificate that we had created and we signed the XML document with the private key of that certificate and then we wrote it out to disk. So just to recap, here is the document that we signed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the public key. So now we're going to, I'm going to pretend like I just signed this and I'm going to send it off to a client and the client's going to validate it to see if they trust this message. So let's do that right now. So let's create a new project in Visual Studio. We'll call this a new project. And what do we call it? We called this last one something like X509 sign test. We'll call this X509 validate test. All right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a... It's basically the opposite of what we did last time is... And this actually is a little bit simpler. What we're going to do is we're going to read in the public key certificate. We're going to read in the XML document, sort it as an XML document object. Then what we're going to do is create another signed XML object like we did with the other example. We'll extract the signature node. We will then take that signature node, apply it to the signed XML, and we will check to see if the signature computes to see if it if it's basically is able to verify that, that, that this XML document was signed with the private key of the public key that I have. So the public key that I have was derived from this private key that signed this. And that's how the applications will trust one another. So what we'll do is we'll add another, I think we had to add system security last time. So let's add system.security again. So for the signed XML object. And we'll first, we'll read in everything. So um, we'll just read in the XML document. So I have it on the desktop here. So I have a string, XML string equals file dot read all text. And we'll go ahead and read in this, oops, this. And then it's called sign.xml. Let's do a right line, make sure that it looks okay. So we'll do XML string. And what do we got? Cool, we have the document. Fantastic. Now let's encapsulate that inside of an X509. Oh, I'm sorry, inside of an XML document. Okay. Doc equals new XML document. Doc dot load XML. XML string. Okay, make sure that that's okay and it is okay. Now let's import the public key certificate. So we'll do an X509 certificate to object. So we'll have to add our reference to that. And we'll call that pub cert equals a new instance of this. Now the public key doesn't have a password on it. So we could actually just go ahead and read that in. And the public key is the PEM file here. So instead of that, we'll import that. And okay, cool. Doesn't explode. That's always a good sign. If it doesn't explode, you at least have a chance of it working. <laughs> Let me bring this down for viewability for those of you that want to be able to see what we're doing. Okay, so we have the document that was signed. We have the certificate that we want to verify it with. Now let's create a method that will do this. So we'll do public static. Let's just do a bool and we'll do validate XML documents with certificate. And this will be XML documents doc and then X509 certificate to cert. Okay, so bool is just, we're going to return, you know, did it work or did it not work? So true or false. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll do this. We'll do, um, Let's create a signed XML document, just like we did when we created this. So we'll do signed XML. Let me actually right click on it. Signed XML, signed XML equals new signed XML. And it's going to be the imported document right there. Excellent. Now let's do XML node list, node list. What we're going to do is actually go out there and get the signature. Now we could actually, you know what, let me just, let me just do this like this. I'm going to just cheat slightly. This is not Brian approved. But you know what? He's not here, so we can do whatever we want, right? <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to do a try catch and return false if for whatever reason it fails. I'm going to assume that you have a signature node in there because you should if it's a signed document. So I'll do doc.get elements. It's elements, by the way, by tag name. And this will be signature with a capital S. All right. So there's my signature. Now, this is going to be a list. So I'll do sub zero to actually get the signature node. So I'll do XML node signature node equals that. Fantastic. Okay. So we have the signature node. Now let's do the signed XML dot load XML. And what we're going to do is load this typecasted as an element. Okay. So let's see if that builds. Okay. It builds. It's just that we don't have a return type. So this is fine. This is good. Okay. Remember in XML 
Node, a node is a single point of data in an XML document, whereas an element is like, you know, an open and closed tag. It's an instance of tags. That's basically the main difference. A node can be anything and an element is, is a specific thing. So we have that. Excellent. Now, now that we have that loaded, we can take this and we can check to see, well, the signature node that I just loaded, I stuck this in the document. Does this actually validate? So I can say if, well, actually, I don't have, have to do that. I can do a return uh, signed XML dot check signature. Okay. And the signature I want to check is against the signing certificate or the public certificate and verify a signature only true. That's it. So let's do a quick console dot right line. All right. So we want to check to see doc and cert and let's see if we got a, oh, I'm sorry. Pub cert. Excuse me. Run this. Cool. True. That's pretty awesome. And that was pretty simple to do, right? So let's open up the document. Let me change it. If I were to hit this enter key, and verif validate it. Like if I were to just do a small change like that, it's still going to validate because the actual document's the same. I just added a, I just added something to the document that doesn't change the meaning of the document. Now let's add something that changes the meaning of the document. Let's ch let's take this one and let's make this a two. Okay. And now we'll verify it. So this says false. So what that means is the actual integrity of the documents been compromised. We computed this digital signature based on the information in this document. The information has been changed. Therefore, the signature that I have is not valid. So this is a very simple way that you can verify digital signatures inside XML documents. Now, it does get a little bit, it can get a little more complicated depending on how the, the document signed. Like, for example, you could actually scope in and sign specific parts of the document. In this case, you'd have to modify this slightly in order for it to work. But I've always just found it just why not just sign the whole document? I mean, who cares? It's just sign the whole thing. It just makes it easier. And uh, the signature that piece that we wrote before will work fine. And this will work fine. So that's that.